Hi my friends, in this series of videos I will explain React hooks. The first video will be about useState hook. useState is a special function that allows us to create state in function based components. Previously we had to use class component to create a state, but now we can also create a state in function components with a use state hook. I split the screen into two and uh, created the same application by using class based and the function based components. We will learn to use state both in class based and the function based components. We will make a simple counter application. Let's create it in class first. The much earlier ver versions of React we have called constructor function. I will show the old method first and then we will switch to new uh, method. And then we call super function in it. And then we create an object inside the desktop state and uh, we will keep the state of our application in this object so let's say counter zero the zero is the initial value of the state counter is our state here okay, i save it and now I, I will create the same state inside the function based component. First, we need to import useState hook in curly brackets. We will import it from React. And then let's go back to our function and uh, we will call the useState hook. First, I will write and I will tell you the codes that I wrote here. Sorry, counter and the set counter. We will call the use state hook here. The use state function, I mean this one, returns an array. The first element of the, the of the arrays is the state itself the, in our scenario it is counter and the second element is a function that allows us to change or update the state there is generally accepted usage of use state whatever we name the state in our case it is counter the function name that allows us to change the state is prepended with set you see set here and the name of the state is written using camel case it doesn't have to be called as set counter you can even write your name but it is catchy we can define the function name by prefixing uh, which state we are changing with set keyword so we will leave it as it was counter and the, we write set plus uh, the name of our state so it is generally accepted way so set counter okay I save it now I have created the counter state in both components to see this we can use console log. So let's write console.log function state. Let's write the state name. I will take it under this our state. And then here we will write console log. Class state this dot state dot counter we can access our counter in this way 
this dot state dot counter the name of the our state here okay I save it and I will refresh the page open the console here as you can see the states of both components are created without any problems as you noticed creating a state in in a class component takes a bit longer but as I said at the beginning of the video this is a bit older usage now we can create our state directly without creating a, without calling constructor let's create the state directly using the state keyword I will remove the codes here and uh, we will just call state ok I save it when you use it in this way you can create the state without any problems this is newer usage when we refresh the page you will see that there is no change our state our state still works ok now let's render the counter value I will create a h3 tag let's create it and uh, let's write counter I will use uh, curly brackets because we, we write the JavaScript expression let's write this dot state dot counter here we write a value of our state I save it but first let's do the same for the function component I will create h3 tag and then let's write counter I will use curly brackets here we just need to write counter here it's our state we don't need to write this I mean this here we don't need it in function component now I say and uh, I refresh the page we perform the rendering process successfully now let's see how we can update this state for both components I will do the update process uh, via a button let's create the buttons every time we click it we will increase the counter number we will create a function that will work when we click the button let's do it here when creating functions in a class component it is sufficient to write the function name directly you can write increase I mean uh, we don't need to write in this way if we write in this way we will get an error so I will delete it so inside the function inside this function we need the set state to update our our counter state so this dot set state we send an object into the set state and the write the, and we will write the name of the state we want to update in our scenario this is counter so let's write counter and uh, let's write this dot state dot counter plus one what we are doing here is we are adding one to alt counter value and updating the counter state so we need to associate this function with the button so let's do that I will write an on-click on, on -click event and uh, when we click the button this event calls increase function so I will just write and I also need to add this because we are in class components 
when I click the button we will get an error here you see if you have worked in a class components before you already know what caused the problem but I want to go step by step for those who don't know the reason for this error is that we haven't bind this function yet I can summarize the bind operation as follows we haven't introduced the function we created as an element of this class yet so let's do that too there are two methods for this the first is done inside the constructor I will show it first we call the constructor function here and the call super function inside it and uh, we perform the bind operation for increase a uh, function let's do it this dot increase echo this dot increase and uh, bind this I save it by doing that we introduce the function the increase function to class we are working in now if I click the button you will see that I am able to update the state without any problem but first let's uh, refresh the page and click increase as you can see I can update the counter okay the second method is the error function which came into our lives with ES6 if we use if we use the error function by creating the function it will bind I mean introduce it for us to the class where uh, we are in so let's see I will delete the constructor and uh, I will create error function here okay I save it In this way we create the error function I will refresh the page as you can see the counter is increasing now let's do the same in function component I'm creating a function called increase inside this function I call the set I call the set counter which allows me to update the state and the uh, within parentheses I write I write the same uh, same expression that I wrote here so I can update it I can copy it sorry I will just remove this dot state counter actually it is it is enough counter plus one and uh, I I need to I need to associate this function to to a button so let's create a button quickly let's write increase on click event when we click the button call this increase function I save it I refresh the page okay let's try it we first try the class component we can update our counter and then let's click the function component as you can see they are working simultaneously. we have learned to define state for both class component and the function component there are a few more things I like to add 
I want to create one more state and uh, then I can finish the video but first let me show you uh, create the another state when creating a second state you may not know where to do it you may not know whether uh, you can use use state again let's do it quickly first of all I want to say that we will call use state function over and over every time we create a new state let's see in practice what I mean for example let's create another state called is shown the initial value is false and then let's save it when we want to update it uh, we will use the same process here let's say this dot set state we will send an object and inside the object we will write the name of, of state we want to update in our case it is is shown sorry is shown let's update it to from false to true you can also write this uh, state here you don't you don't need to create another function like this we can call uh, this state here you can you can specify you, you can specify many many uh, state in one line okay I remove it I save it let's do same with use state I will create another uh, state here let's write is shown set is shown we call your state the initial value is false as we did here when we want to update we will use the uh, set is shown function let's do it set is shown let's update it to true okay we create an update states in this way for uh, function based components and the class based components i think that has been enough if you have any problems you can email to me thanks for watching see you in the next video